everything's got to be done perfectly. And if it's not done perfectly, it's not, it's not professional. There's no reason to not operate at a high level, right? Like I'm talking about the highest, highest level that you could possibly operate at. And if you think about it, most people are not operating at the highest level, right? Like if you look at your business and you look at the way that you do things, there is an optimum highest professional way to do it. And then there's, there's just whatever between, the, between that and average, right? But most people are not operating at this highest level. Like I'm talking about like sending an email. Are you sending the email in the most professional way that you possibly could? Are you having the con a conversation with somebody in the, the highest professional way that you possibly could? Or if, if you're given a task to do, are you doing it in the highest professional way that you could do? And that's just how I think with everything, right? Like if people just thought with that, like, okay, how can I be the epitome of professional and professional doesn't necessarily mean like, you know, you're suited up and you're, you're like, I'm professional because I'm wearing a suit or whatever. It doesn't mean that. It means that you're so, you're so competent that it resonates. Like it just permeates the environment because you're just, you're operating at such a high level of professionalism. Like everything's got to be done perfectly. And if it's not done perfectly, it's not, it's not professional. So you know what I mean? Yeah, it's huge attention to detail. So it's not again, it's not about the way that you're dressed, right? Like look at look at how I'm dressed. I got sneakers on, I got ripped jeans and a and a yeah, sweatshirt. They don't match. No, but <laughs> but professionalism people think like, oh you show up to a meeting and you're suited up and you have cufflinks and you have like the the Ferragamos and, and whatever. And if you're a girl you have the lubies on or whatever, right? Like like that's part of being professional but it's not the whole reason that puts it in a bow, right? At the end of the day, it's like, man, it's like a high level of competency. And when you can have that and you're striving for that every day and you never like say, oh, okay, it was the best that I could do or, or we, did, we did a project and it, it turned out okay, as opposed to being at the highest level. So I demand that of myself and I feel like because I demand it of myself, I, I feel free to demand that of other people. It's only when you don't demand it of yourself, you start feeling guilty about demanding it from other people, right? So for me, it's like, that's just always, it's always on with that. And it's super important. You don't wanna be a dilettante at things. Like you want people to be like, wow, you know what? Maybe I don't like him or her, but you know what? All I know is that per person is super competent and they, they do everything at the highest level. And that implies, you know, attention to detail, doing it right, following through, mm -hmm. saying what you're gonna do something and then doing it. Mm -hmm. Being on time, <laughs> being on time is a big one. Doing what you say you're gonna do, responding super fast to things. That, that's all level of professionalism, you know? And then getting done whatever you're supposed to do at like the highest level. <laughs>